So Gunter Steiner is gone. He's no longer the team principal of Haas. Ah, yes, I'm doing face cam for this video. Yes, I'm recording this on my phone. Just a quick video, just get a couple of thoughts out really on this whole Haas situation. And look, Gunter Steiner, he, he wasn't a great team principal. That much we all came. Look, while he wasn't a great, when you're not given much to work with and one of them things you had to work with is a team owner that doesn't seem to be all that keen on investing much into his own team, you can only do so much with what you're getting, is my point here, you know? I think Gunther was kind of still like a big backbone in getting the team like into Formula One in the first place that somebody's spoken about in length in his book, Surviving to Drive, which I do recommend you pick up by the way if you haven't already, be it the physical book form slash ebook or in an audio book form, which is what I did. But anyway, Gene Haas has commented and that comment is, moving forward as an organization, it was clear we need to improve our on-track performances. In appointing Ayao Kamatsu as team principal, we fundamentally have engineering at the heart of our management. We have had some success, but we need to be consistent in delivering results that help us reach our wider goals as an organization. We need to be efficient with the resources we have, but improving our design and engineering capabilities is key to our success as a team. I'm looking forward to working with Ayao and fundamentally ensuring that we maximize our potential. This truly reflects my desire to compete properly in F1. I'm gonna come back to a, like a little just brief on who Ayao Komatsu is for those who maybe aren't familiar with him. However, an article from motorsport.com said, and Lawrence Bretto, a well-known F1 journalist, but these things said that it seemed like Gunther wanted more investment for the team while Haas wanted to basically just make the most of what they had, basically, you know, kind of like what they've been doing. And Lawrence Bretto also said that apparently Gunther Steiner's contract, as he understands it, had ended at the end of last year, and due to the disagreements between Gunther and Gene, it was not renewed. Now, a small thought on this investment thing, right? Gene has wants better performances. He wants to improve the performances of the team, but surely to do that, then they still need, he still needs to like invest more, right? Like, changing the team principle isn't gonna just automatically mean better performances. Because if you want better performances and results, then you need to be willing to invest in it. You need to be willing to put your money where your mouth is in these kinds of things. Like, you cannot blame Steiner for wanting more investment, for asking for more investment in the team. Because here's the thing about F1. Money makes the sport go round. This sport fucking reeks of cash. And like, I'm sorry, Gene, if you don't want to invest in your team, then why do you have a fucking Formula One team? Like, is it for the exposure of the Haas name or something like that? Because, I mean, you're fucking getting that, that for damn sure. But it's for all the wrong reasons. Because, god damn it, that team is a shit show right now. I'm sorry, it just kind of seems like Gene Haas is just trying to polish a turd right now. No matter how many times he polishes it, it's still a turd, if you know what I mean. But anyway, who is Ayao Komatsu? Well, he started in Formula 1 back in 2003 with the BAR team. And after spending a few seasons there, he shifted over to Renault in 2006. Where he ended up working as a performance engineer. And then in 2011, he went on to become the race engineer for Vitaly Petrov and then after after that, Roman Grosjean for a few seasons. Komatsu ended up becoming Lotus's chief race engineer, and then after Grosjean moved to Haas in 2016, Komatsu followed him over there and he was Haas's like head of trackside operations basically since until now, where he's now the team principal of the team. And reportedly a new chief operations officer is also going to be hired at Haas, but I don't know anything more about that. No one knows anything more about that really. Um, there's not been said on who that is. So what does all this mean for Haas in 2024? Well, who knows? I kind of thought this team couldn't get any more disappointing. But they've proven me wrong. It's gonna be rough for them. That's for damn sure. Especially doing all this so close to the start of the season. Like, we are just over a month away from pre-season testing. And Kane and how has like to be the first to launch their new livery so they can at least be first in something. We're probably less than a month away from their goddamn launch. This is all that you couldn't have done this sooner? Like, why wait? Why not decide? Why couldn't have you decided like in December or something or like at the end of the season like no good we're not gonna renew your contract bugger off basically. Haas wanted to fucking continue with making the most of what they have you know trying to um, which is the philosophy that they kind of came in with basically because there's I saw Will Boxen say not to Twitter that Haas's philosophy that they came into the sport with that worked like a decade ago but it doesn't work now he has a very good point like you need to invest 
if you want to improve, Gene Haas doesn't seem to want to do that. Gunther wanted more investment. He got the can. Like, this just, it, it all makes no sense. I mean, I, th I think Steiner getting replaced or leaving was kind of inevitable anyway, but this all still makes absolutely no sense. By the way, all this is gonna end one of two ways for Haas. It's gonna end with them actually seeing an uptick in performance and improving. Which, I'm gonna be honest, I think you'd have a better chance at knitting fog than have that happen. Or this is eventually gonna end in the team leaving or being bought out, which is the more likely option. Who could they be bought out by? Well, I mean, Andretti's loitering around, they're trying to get on the grid, it could be bought out by someone else entirely. Poor Kane's what's going to happen, but I do not see this ending well for Haas. And reportedly, Simone Resta, uh, the team's technical director, has also left the team, which is going to be a blow to them. The Luther technical director, he joined Haas in 2021 from Ferrari where he'd been back there for a couple of years after having a stint at um, what's now sat, what's now stake F1 team. But it's only clear if Rest is going to be going back to Ferrari with, I haven't seen any reports other than that Resta has left Haas. But anyway, quick little upload just to give a couple of thoughts. Like th this whole thing is just, I didn't think Haas could get any more disappointing and they have proven me wrong. But anyway, this was a quick little video. I just don't know how long this video is, uh, regardless, hence why I just decided to record it on my phone. But anyway, I'm gonna go. Thank you all for watching. What is your thoughts on this whole Haas situation? Are you surprised to see Steiner go? What do you think about all this with them basically just trying to, with Gene Haas, it's basically trying to polish a turd, essentially. Anyway, I will see you for my normal weekly scheduled video tomorrow. Let's see if we can get through next week without me uploading an impromptu midweek video because someone has done something stupid or big. Anyway, bye bye